Hey what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here and today I'm making you a guide on how to put a fan on your motherboard. Um, the fan is the Arctic Freezer 7 Pro Rev 2 uh, on set, uh, socket 775 is the one I have it on. Uh, I've got the motherboard of the Asus P5K Premium. So as you see there, I was just taking out uh, my stock one there and cleaning, uh, cleaning all the dust that there was around on the processor. Now the thing is, um, <laughs> the reason I'm making this guide is just in case you have any doubts, but it's very simple and straightforward, um, very easy to do. Uh, I in fact had uh, a fan, um, pretty much exactly the same one, a little bit older, uh, but unfortunately the pins at the bottom, as you can see the pins that I just put in there, uh, broke, so it wouldn't hold properly and caused instability uh, on my computer. So you saw there the pin application is very easy, and here I'm putting some thermal paste on the processor. It doesn't really need it because it's already got some, and even on the uh, Arctic uh, cooler you've got a... Um, some sort of thermal paste application which is already there which is quite good of them to put but um, I just put some um, because I had had some handy so I, saw, I thought to myself might as well and so over here I'm just I just took a little bit of a plastic bag so to speak um, usually you should have gloves it would be better and just apply the thermal paste as you can see I didn't do it perfectly but at the end of the day you just need a little bit on there just to help it out so you can see over here, I've got the screws on the second, so the middle uh, middle screw um, position, so to speak. And what I do, I just put it on. It's quite hard to find uh, find the holes. <laughs> that's what she said, um, or that's what he's anyway. <laughs> so um, you put it on, and you want to screw it in. Um, when you screw it in, make sure that you screw it in uh, not fully on one side and fully on the other. Do it slowly um, on both, simply because you don't want it to be uneven. So you can see here, I'm just going to speed it up, uh, because you don't need to see me screwing for a while. Uh, <laughs> it's as simple as that. So um, the reason I bought this uh, cooler is simply because, one, I found that um, it wasn't cool enough, my computer wasn't cool enough, and on top of that, uh, it wasn't uh, such an expensive uh, cooler to get. So I thought it was worth it. Over here you can see it's the, the actual fan piece, uh, you get that off when you first buy it and then you um, put the um, cooler on your uh, motherboard and once you've put it on you put the fan back on. So it's actually quite clever what they've done and um, I appreciate that they've made it easier to um, put, put up a fan and um, have it without any problems. And so over here you can see it just started up my PC and you can see the dust flying around a little bit which I cleaned up after. But um, the noise is really low, it's not noisy at all. Um, unfortunately I had music playing in the background so I did not show you that. But the thing is, um, it, is not, it is not loud at all. So it keeps cool PC and gives you um, like not much noise so it's great. So as you can see here, my temperature is 39, 30, 30 or 32, and so when we put more load on it, for example, if I'm rendering a video or whatever, usually the temperature goes up. So um, it doesn't go up by much, as you can see, but usually you can expect it going to 60 or something like that. Um, but uh, this uh, fan keeps it nice and cool. And you can see on the right, I've got CPU Z open. I've got it overclocked to 3.5 gigahertz. Uh, my stock is 2.93. Hope you enjoyed this video guys, uh, please do rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, totally dubbed out, bye bye.